And then there's your devices. This is what you bring to the table. Not everybody has all these things. Some of you may not have any of these things. Some of these things are reasonably affordable. Some of them are expensive. Someone's going to walk away here today with a new computer or a new recycled computer, but nonetheless, a good computer that will work just fine on this system. Uh, we'll talk about that. This is the fiber service box. It just mounts to your wall. Fiber cables plug into it. Not much too exciting about it. The optical network terminal, uh, essentially what this does is this takes pulses of light that come in on the fiber cable and converts them to electrical signals. When I was talking to one of the city councils one time, someone came up and said, oh, what about all the electromagnetic radiation that's going to come from this? Is this going to be dangerous to us? And we don't have to worry about that because pulses of light don't create any electromagnetic ra radiation. These fiber cables coming into your house don't conduct electricity. This cable gets hit by lightning in your front yard. It may wreck the cable, but it's not going to do anything to the stuff in your house because the fiber does not conduct electricity. On the back of these, you can see there's a place for the cable to plug in. There's four Ethernet ports. We'll talk about those in a minute. And then there's a couple of uh, POTS ports. POTS is a term you may not hear a whole lot of. It basically just means plain old telephone service. If you have a landline phone now from AT&T or from um, McLeod USA or one of the other companies that does phones, your phone can plug into one of those, and we'll show you that in a minute. You have to have the right stuff on the back side, but it's not that difficult. You have four ports where you could plug in computers, you could plug in a game controller, you could plug in an Apple TV, you could plug in your Blu-ray player. We'll show you all of those in just a minute. Uh, people, and Abdul mentioned this, that you guys are going to be to determine how we use this, but some of the ways we use this are going to be real simple and similar to what we do today except it's going to be faster and it's going to cost you less money. Uh, social service agencies are going to have unlimited bandwidth to each other. That's going to help them do their business. That's going to help them work with the people they serve. Senior living centers. You know, a senior living center is not a real happy place to be. It can be kind of an isolated experience. I know my dad was in one. He got an internet connection and, you know, it was a much more enjoyable experience for him. He hooked up with old classmates, old friends from the Navy and the Army. Uh, Getting connectivity into the senior living centers, I think, is going to be an important thing. Public safety agencies, uh, you know, when the fire, if you have a fire in your house or in your, in your apartment building, when the first responders show up to your door, it would be really nice if they knew the floor plan of your building. And they can't possibly have the floor plans for every building and every truck, so they do that kind of on an ad-needed basis. This will allow them to get those floor plans as quickly as possible. There are ways of using this, and we're going to see a little demo later. Uh, to, for energy conservation. During the day, how many of you care if your hot water heater is turned on? Okay, then you wouldn't want to sign up for this. Uh, but if you knew every day between one and four, maybe your hot water heater wasn't working, you could probably work around that if you, if, if you had to. Maybe? Okay. The uh, power companies have to create enough capacity to generate power based on the worst day of the summer when everyone's running their air condition. They call that their peak capacity time, their peak load time. The city of Chattanooga, Tennessee, which runs its own power company, figured out that if they could just turn off everyone in town's hot water heater, not at all at the same time, but for a couple hours a day when it really was really hot and people were running a lot of air conditioners, they wouldn't have to build a whole other generating plant. That it would save them that much electricity just merely turning off people's water heaters during the day. There are things you can do with this kind of connectivity uh, that will help you save money on your power bill, helps the power company save money, and therefore they'll give you a better rate. Um, imagine it's the middle of winter. It's kind of hard to imagine that because it's nice out there today. It's Wednesday night, you've got your Bible study group to go to, and there's five feet of snow outside. Well, maybe what if you could video conference and your whole group could just chat online, the same sort of experience you might otherwise have, um, except not without having to leave your home. Uh, we're going to talk a little bit about on-demand television and sports. Uh, again, and I'll jump right into this. How many people have cable TV either here today? Probably about half. How many people have satellite? Got some satellite people. Um, this is a way of saving money on what you're already spending for cable. Not absolutely everything that's available today on cable is available on the internet, but an awful lot of it is. And each week and each month, more and more content moves to the internet. If you're paying 80 bucks a month now for Comcast, you can unplug Comcast, save your 80 bucks, spend 20 of it to get your UC to B connection, have another $40 to buy some of the online content you see here that you have to buy a la carte. 
but you're only buying what you want. If you only watch three shows a week on television, why are you paying for 800 channels and 5 million shows? You can watch just the stuff you want, and at the end of the month, you'll have some money in your pocket, and oh, by the way, you get a great internet service on top of that for the money you're already spending, if you're already spending that money. There's other ways this can be used. There are some companies that are combining off-air broadcasting with online content. It's tricky. We don't have any of them available in this market yet. We're working on that. The one that I like the best of this is a company called Sesme. They give you a box that you put in your home, and it's got a DVR so you can record things. It takes in all the off-air channels, and if you haven't watched off-air television recently since they went digital, it looks pretty good. Less compression, a nice picture quality, it's high definition. Uh, but they, they bring you that, all the off-air channels you get, so you get your major networks, and then they bring in internet content for on-demand movies, television shows, whatever other sorts of things you might want. Five bucks a month. It's a $150 box. You buy that once, you can buy them at Amazon, and then five bucks a month for the service to do all the online stuff. Now, you have to pay for the content you get, um, but again, this would probably still be cheaper than using cable. There are other things we can do here. Uh, some of you still have landline phones. I still have a landline phone. Not sure why I still have a landline phone, but I've had it for 40 years and I'll probably keep it for a while. Um, I could do it much cheaper if I did it through one of these ONTs. Um, some of you may want to see what's going on in your house when you're not home. You have babysitters, you got uh, other things going on, you got nanny cams, you want to see what your cats and animals are up to when you're not home, if they're tearing up the place. Uh, this, this enables all that. Uh, we're going to do a little telemedicine uh, work, but we have some pretty major medical facilities in town. And imagine if rather than having to go all the way across town to see your nurse practitioner to get a, a high blood pressure check or a diabetes check, you could do that at home. Again, you're saving money, you're saving time, you're spending less money on your medical care.